the men are in lab toolkit i think is my biggest achievement what it's done is it's built capacity for other mentors to be able to deliver deliver really good quality mentoring and coaching along with um becky and i under um with the kind of wider mentoring team at the diner awards we held kind of skill share share session it's been really useful for me to have like these new tools that um i can use to offer the mentor support This is the toolkit and the first bunch is of it is like a message from myself, that's me. And then obviously you can see all our mentors and then here is just a lot of text about the mentoring and then our, you know, mentoring agreement and the policies. But this is where the toolkit really kicks in. So we have the reflection stage, the young people can reflect on who they are and their current situation and they can do this on their own. So this is, we start with values first. If we know a young person's values, then we can protect their values throughout the mentoring relationship. Everybody that's in mentoring or coaching knows about the wheel of life, balance, so we can kind of find out what's going on in a young person's life. And actually, with these, the young people can like scratch this out and they can write their own one. They don't have to stick to these. And then, this is where we get into looking at protective factors with young people. I have worked on the mentoring toolkit for probably three, four years before I actually started sharing it with people. And when I see youth practitioners read through the mentoring toolkit and first of all has reservations because I've introduced a way of mentoring that they're not used to, but then see them practice the tools on themselves and then practice the tools on others and then practice the tools on the young people and see the impact that the toolkit has on their mentoring i'm like this is it this is how we change the youth sector to provide better quality mentoring one person at a time you can do it with the understanding of where they're at and how they think and where they want to go and what their values are it's totally different to big organisations that don't have like people with lived experience like board of, board of directors or the, the board of trustees or, or management or senior management or whatever. Totally different, man. So yeah, then we've got CV, CV Builder. We actually ask them a series of questions to get all the information out of their CV. And then that's it. We've got even got a template cover letter for them to ask any company for work experience. I mean, it's a step-by-step -step guide, really, isn't it? And then final progress review, and that's it. Boom. <laughs>